Guests are going to be here a week from Friday for the Cincinnati Food and Wine Classic starting September 11th. The local business, Waterfield, is going to be showcased at the festival. And this is Director of Operations, Sam Dunlap. Sam, thanks for coming in. Good Absolutely. You, and as yeah, as I just told you, I, I like to learn about stuff I don't know, and there's a whole lot of stuff going on here that I don't really yeah, know. Yeah, a lot of people might not even have heard of Waterfields, right? Probably not. Yeah, that's true. What is it? So we are an urban agriculture company based here in Cincinnati. And in addition to growing fresh local greens, um, we're also trying to create jobs uh, in the urban core. Okay. Nice. Very cool. Very How are you cool. doing that? Um, well, we have a base of operations in the West End and uh, basically tr through growing lots of customers. Okay. Um, so the more customers we have, the more uh, work we've got. Growing lots of customers, growing lots of stuff as well. Let's talk about how you're going to be involved you know, with the, the, with the Food and Wine Classic, though, first. And then we'll talk more about Waterfields itself. Yeah, so um, on a base level, we are you know, we partner with a lot of the chefs who are going to be participating. Mm. So um, we don't have tons to do during the Cincinnati Food and Wine Classic. We are going to be there um, Sunday um, okay. sharing a tent with Stephen Williams at Bouquet. Okay. Um, and so we'll just be talking to people and sharing a little bit about our story. But uh, really, it's up to the the, the culinary talent. We're kind of the agricultural talent. So, well, you mentioned that uh, you, you share go. your greens with local restaurants, so people might have eaten your products yes. when they go out to eat. Right. And some, you know, sometimes it may be on the menu that it's Waterfields microgreens, sometimes okay. not. So, uh, okay. but yeah, likely if you've eaten downtown or in Over the Rhine yeah. in the last uh, year and a half, you've had some of our microgreens. Somewhere. Well, and chefs, they like using stuff that's locally grown mm -hmm. and, that, and that kind of thing. So, talk about. Talk about, I don't know what any yeah, of this stuff. Yeah, what's a microgreen? Yeah. What are these? Yeah. How do you use them? Tell so us. microgreens are basically very young plants. So okay. um, they're one step beyond a sprout is sort of how okay. I describe them. So okay. these are sunflowers, for example, sunflower oh, shoots. Wow. So if they were allowed to grow up, they would be a full-size sunflower plant. But okay. We keep them at this stage, and they're luscious and crunchy at that um, when they're at that stage. Uh, we've got some arugula here. We've got, this is our red vein sorrel. Okay. Red Rambo Radish. Neat. And then we call these ones our Wacky Peas. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of Wacky Peas before, yeah. believe it or not. Oh, that's and So neat. they got a little, you've heard of the Wacky I've Peas? I've heard of Wacky oh, Peas right. before. Cool. Mike, yes. The name's getting out there then. Yeah. So you can just clip these off and put them on food, right? Yeah, so that's what I was, you know, as a um, amateur culinarian, uh, <laughs> this is my, what I wanted to share with you. So uh, this is blue oven bread with some cream cheese on it, um, some homemade beet cured lox that my girlfriend okay. made and then I was going to just top it with a little bit of micro arugula. Okay, great. So what you do with microgreens, I'm probably being a little heavy handed with them, but um, <laughs> Well, you're not a chef. That's okay. All right, that's it not gives my us job. A good I grow on. We, so. we, we want to let you know that we have a link to the Cincinnati Food and Wine Classic at local12.com. You can go on Sunday and see Sam talk more about the business. Are you sort of fascinated and by this? I, I mean, am. Really am. And I hope this means a lot more business for you because all these well, restaurants yeah, are going to be in from we all hope over the so country. Too. And um, yeah, there's going to be chefs from all around the Midwest. It's really a showcasing right. of uh, the Midwest and Cincinnati culinary scene. Thank so. you so much. And those yeah. chefs who, who don't know you success. already will know you, I guess, mm -hmm. after, after yeah, the big classic. Yeah, we certainly hope so. All right, Sam, thanks for coming mm -hmm. in. Thank we you. appreciate Good. it. Thank Good you.